my project is on fertility data set and uh, it's from the UCI database and it's about uh, several different environmental factors, health stat status factors and life habit factors that might affect the fertility rate of male. And the factors in are mostly are including the surgical intervention, fever, smoking habit, number of hours spending on sitting, and the goal of this study is to see if we can use these factors as a predictors for predicting the fertility of male. And I'm going to try to use several machine learning model to predict the fertility based on these factors and to see if we can use these factors as indicators for diagnosis in the future. First, I'm going to explore the data set And since the data doesn't have column names, I have to manually add the column names based on the attribute information from the website. And then check the structure of the data. You can see that there are 99 observations and uh, 10 variables. So it's a very small data set. And I'll check the summary, the overall distribution of the data set. You can see that um, there's a missing value in the age group. So I need to, because the data set is very small, so I'm go, going to impute the data by replacing it with the mean of the age. And also I'm going to uh, check the distribution of the continuous variables in this data set to find, to see if there's any outliers. As we can see that the distribution of the data is not very skewed. So there might be not many outliers. So, but I still use the least score to check the outlier existence. We set the threshold to three. So I would find that there's no outliers in the age group, but there is one outlier in the sitting hour group. And the disease score for this outlier is 3.3 which is just slightly above the threshold. Because this data set, as I said, is very small. So, and uh, also the outcome, the predicting outcome is a categorical variable, which might not be significantly affected by these out slightly screwed outlier value. That's why I will still keep it. And then I will check the accordingly the collinearity of the data set to see if there's any collinearity between among these variables. And we can see that um, um, mostly all the variables are independent to each other. There's no collinear collinearity, which means we don't need to transform them into principal components. And because the, this data set um, um, inputs see them as numbers, like a range of numbers. So I need to transform them back to their original categorical variable to keep their original feature so that, it, so that the prediction performance will not be affected. And also I, will, I need to do the dummy code for these categorical variables. And also the variable need to be normalized to fit the classification and prediction model. And the combined uh, process the data to shape and uh, get the clean data. And now I'm going to start to construct the model. Before that, I need to separate the data into um, training and uh, validation data set. I use the traditional split of 75 to 25. The first model I'm going to use is SVN because SVN supported vector machine is an effective classification method for almost any type of data. And besides it's not prone to overfitting. And so and first I built the SVN model using the default Gaussian canal. 
and I got the an accuracy of an eighty-seven percent five eighty-seven point five percent, and I got AUC of point five. The the accuracy is okay, but the AUC is not good because point five means there's no predicting power of the of this model, and the result may be due to random guesses. And so I, so I'm going to see if I tune the model with changing the canal will improve the performance of the model. So I design I change it to vanilla dot, which is a linear canal. And uh, I still get the same accuracy and uh, the same AUC. And then I then try another polynomial and uh, polynomial canal and uh, still get the same result, which means like I change the canal will not change the performance of the, uh, the predicting power of to this data set. This might be because this data set is too small, that is the model is not get enough training to provide enough prediction power. Next one, I'm going to use the ANN, the artificial neural network. I use this because it's, it is a very widely used classification and prediction method, and it requires minimal assumption about the data underlying relationship. And I, for my build, build my first model using the hidden layer number of one. You see, and I get, and I get the seventy nine percent of accuracy, but the AUC is 0.45. This is not good because the value below 0.5 means it, the prediction is towards the opposite direction. So in order to improve the um, performance of the data, of the model, I change the hidden layer number to five to see if it's improved. And uh, it is improved. The accuracy is 0.83 and the AUC is 0.62, which gives the positive prediction and power, which is good. The, it means the model is improved, the prediction power is improved. And, and so I also try other um, hidden layer number. I increase the number and see that the performance and the AUC goes down. And also I try to lower the number to four and also get a less effective um, model. And the uh, even lower AUC so the conclusion is the optimum the optimum performance is comes from the hidden layer number five for the ANN model. Then I'm going to use the logistic regression for the prediction. I use logistic regression because it's a great way to and predict and classify, classify the binary outcome. And also because the output is more, are more informative because they can tell uh, how significant each variables are in the prediction. So I construct the model. As we can see that from the p-value, we can see that the majority of the variables are not significant in the prediction, which might tell you something. And in order to improve the model, I use the backward elimination based on AIC to improve the fit of the model and also the performance of the model. And I get the final model with three variables and uh, I check the, ac the same, I check the accuracy and AOC and that the, ac the accuracy is also like 87.5 and uh, the AOC is 0.5 which is 
I don't know why, but which is the same as the result from the SVN model. So it has a good accuracy, but it doesn't have any prediction power or classification power. And, uh, and using AIC to increase the fit doesn't help the model. So I'm going, so in order to improve that, I'm trying to construct a stacked ensemble model based on these three previous models. I'm going to use the, a, at the mean of the result from these previous three models and to get the result for the stacked ensemble model to see if that can help to increase the performance of the model, of the prediction. And uh, find that the accuracy is 0.79, but the AUC is lower than 0.5, so which means the stacked uh, ensemble model doesn't provide a better performance than using a single model in predicting this data set. And here is the overall result of this um, of this project, you can see that the, of the, of, and the uh, artificial neural network with the hidden layer of five gives an overall best performance with 83.3 of accuracy and 0.62 um, AUC. So it has positive pred prediction and uh, classification capa capability and also have a relative good accuracy. Where other three, although they have good good accuracy, but since their AUC are 0.5, which means they don't have any prediction or or classification capacity capability. And this might be due to the data set is too small, so these models that do not did not get enough training. So I'm, and also from the logistic regression, the initial logistic regression, we see that these variables, most of these variables are not significant for the prediction, which means this data set itself might not be good for predicting the fertility. So it might not be used as the predictors for building these models. So therefore, the data set and the variable types it collected might not be useful for male fertility prediction. So further research and more relevant data are needed to be collected to provide a better data set and a better source for the fertility prediction. Thank you.